This surgery that I had, a lot of people have had it and they did not wake up, but God woke me up and it's been six weeks and I'm healing so well and I have still not figured out how to tell God thank you. Look at this. I got a Christian BBL. Beloved? Beloved? What is a Christian BBL? What is a Christian BBL? Booty blessed by the Lord. Is that what it stands for? Somebody explain it to me. I have never been more confused and fed up in the same breath. So basically, um, I was just on Twitter. I know you guys call it X. I'm never going to call it X. For me, it's always going to be Twitter. Because then it's like, if, I, if I'm typing something, I'm basically tweeting it. What am I supposed to say that I X that? Like, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. I'm just, no. For me, I'm sorry, Elon. It's always going to be Twitter. So I was on Twitter today, as you do. Maybe I went on Twitter a bit too early in the morning because my, uh, my mood has changed so much. Like, I'm so sick and tired of people just trying to, like, profit off of these stupid names. So the latest one is Christian BBL. I can't keep up. I really can't. I want to know so much about it. And I also want to know why it's called Christian BBL. And I also want to know why we bring religion into BBLs. Why we bring religion into butts. When did God... <laughs> Anyways, girl. So I came across this article. And the headline says, a BBL that is God-fearing. I love Christian so much. I'm a Christian myself. Okay. I think sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Keyword, sometimes. Sometimes we go too far with it. Sometimes we don't quite help ourselves. Why are we mixing BBLs and Christians together? Where was this in the Bible? The headline says, a BBL that is God-fearing. Hilarious. What does a Christian BBL mean? Memes erupt in wake of influencers' viral video. Now, I've actually seen this content created before because I remember I used to watch her videos, I think back in 2019, 18, maybe even before that because I wanted to know how to install a wig. To this day, don't think I'm good at it. But like, I remember her videos coming across it. She sees somebody like who always had her ish together and everything. But she always seemed like somebody who... Oh my god, it's so much. I hate when my lip gloss does that when it has that like. I hate it. Like, why are you doing why are you moving crusty and musty? I didn't pay how much for you to be moving crusty and dusty on my lip. Do you know what I mean? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> so this lady for me always felt like somebody who was like very intentional with her looks though. And somebody who was like always trying to be put together 24-7. And I feel like when it comes to lifestyle and beauty gurus, like that is just their thing. Like they always want to come on camera looking put together. They always want to like have this like face card that never declines it's like babe sometimes my face card declines and it's okay like i can't be living day in day out with a face card well, i mean my face card doesn't decline most days but i have my moments you should see me this morning anyways so her name is sophieology and she posted a video um after she underwent a bbl or brazilian butt lift however it was only when she addressed the hate comments that she was trolled online this happened because sophieology whose name is actually sophia cleared the air saying what she did was not a regular one but a christian bbl all I'm going to say in the most respectful manner, I'm sure she's a sweet lady, because like I said, I used to watch her, not religiously though, but I came across some of her videos and I thought that she was cool, she was beautiful and everything, but shut up. The fact that you got a BBL, just call it a BBL. Let's not say it's a Christian BBL, because ooh, when had that ever made sense? Like, can we stop trying to coin these weird ass terminologies and can we not also bring religion into it? Now, I'm not even like the most religious person, so don't be thinking, like, oh my god, she's just like one of those Christians who are annoying. No, no, no. I can't stand them myself. But, Today, the 13th of December, on Wednesday morning, I come to you saying, leave it, leave off. Why are we mixing religion now with surgery? In a nearly 40 minute long video, the Nigerian YouTuber influencer takes on her haters and says that she is happy with her newest BBL, while also clarifying that she was a true Christian, making her latest cosmetic pre procedure a Christian BBL. Never heard of that before. I don't even like the sound of it. I think it's very upsetting that as a religious woman yourself you would even try to connect the two of them together i'm not saying that if you get work done you are not you know god doesn't love you because who am i to say that and also i don't think that's the truth now again i'm not the most religious person out there but i do think some things are just very disrespectful i do think sometimes you know, you know in one breath i feel like people non-believers and at the end of the day whatever you choose to believe or not believe is completely up to you we're not going to battle over that because for me it's just not that deep i do me you do you right like i'm very accepting of also having friends of people who are not believers because again that's just not where i'm at you know i'm somebody who again i'm going to keep clarifying this i'm religious but not the most religious right 
so there are some things that i can't i don't always necessarily get offended by it but some things i think are a tad bit too far and i feel like a lot of non-believers love to like mock christians the most and you would never do that with any other religion you would not dare do that because you know exactly what's going to happen you know the repercussions you know like you know that your career would never be the same again if you were to speak about judaism you know or like muslims i don't know like you shouldn't be talking about people's religion groups anyways especially if it's not of anything of substance i've noticed though that out of any religion the one that gets mocked the most is christianity and i've always tried to like think to myself like okay keisha do you want to talk about this in your channel because i don't want to go too political i don't want to i don't want to do too much we're very light-hearted here we 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 you know make jokes and then we go about our day like i that's my thing i don't want to like take it too far or anything but i do feel like it is quite sad seeing that um so to have a fellow christian creator um who is you know making it known that she's a christian and also connecting it with a bbl is weird like it's just like why can't it just be a bbl though because if you actually look at her body it technically is a bbl so where did the whole christian word come from we're gonna go ahead and read some comments real soon because they must be dragging this lady you know like i don't have to do too much basically is what i'm trying to say as soon as the clips on her youtube video titled vlog i got a christian bbl addressing hate comments how i feel about my results now became viral memes began erupting online with many asking what does a christian bbl mean <laughs> someone said perhaps a bbl that is god-fearing listen i love me some jokes okay that was funny <laughs> so was the bbl done by god because that's the thing that i'm trying to put together like did god <laughs> was it done by a god-fearing man like I, did god use someone who was god like did god use one of his disciples i'm confused someone said not being rude towards anyone's religion but i find it immensely insulting and crazy the way some of you christians play with your religion christian bbl clearly is for engagement but still that's insane she looks good though <laughs> she looks good I don't think she's ever looks bad. She looks good. There's no denying that. But I do think that she, she just did it for clicks. And it's like, girl, you got what you wanted. But what now? No, no, seriously, like, what now? She got what she wanted, though, because she's trending here in the UK. And she's from the States. God woke me up. Ooh. And it's been six weeks. And I'm healing so well. Ooh. And I have still not figured out. Wait, wait. God told her to get the BBL. Because I, be, I know God be talking to people. Would God tell her to... ...to tell God, thank you. God talks to people. I've heard that many of times. And I'm sure he's spoken to me a lot of times. And in which, uh, you know, unfortunately, I've ignored sometimes. I'm like, damn, he really had my back. And I was just, you know, I don't think God would tell you to literally get a BBL or necessarily. Like, I don't think... He, um... he still keeps... <laughs> How can I even catch up? <laughs> Besides continuing to give us <laughs> I get there's people that are like pro natural bodies, like don't do anything to yourself, don't give veneers, don't do this one, don't do that one. I understand. I'm not personally <laughs> that person. Like, I'm here for anything that makes you look better, feel better, have more. Confidence. I agree too. Like, if you want to get something done because it's gonna make you feel better, and you genuinely like stand on that, and you feel like you know what, if I get my teeth done, I'm gonna feel more confident in myself. If I get my ass done, this, that, and the other. If I <laughs> do that, like at the end of the day, you've only got one life. I agree with her. Yolo. There are people that look up to me for certain things. Stop looking up to creators. Don't be stupid. Let's not be daft now. It's flipping big, big 2023 and you're still looking up to creators. Stop it. I mean, you can be inspired by somebody, but it's like to live vicariously through someone like, oh my God, this person got worked on someone unfollow. Shut up and grow some balls. I am tired of people living through other people. If someone's got work done, you don't like it, go the other way. Okay. But like, you can't be trying to look at influencers and creators and celebrities and see them as like saints and stuff. And that's something that I've had to learn so much. Like, sometimes I'll be looking at celebrities like they're my sisters. You're, you don't know I exist. You don't know I exist, babes. No, you don't. We need to stop like putting this pressure on creators sometimes. And you know, sometimes I feel like, yeah, it makes sense. Like, speak about the war that's going on. Talk about it. You see it. Talk about it. But when it comes to like procedures and stuff, <sighs> I don't know anymore, man. I don't. I hope there's other things you can find to look up. But if it's that, I should have big back and wide waist. Hold on. <laughs> That's not what I want you to look up to me for. And whatever choices I make in my life, I beg, have your disappointments and make a decision. Do you love me? Yes or no? 
girl she seems to be quite content and happy with her decision i mean she looks great i just hope it's not one of those situations where like she now becomes one of those like influencers who got work done and then is mad at other people for having natural bodies and then body shames because that for me is a no-no and i'm going to go ahead and list an example of that a bit later on in the video so definitely stay tuned for that because we get into some things i mean since we're using the word christian and we're talking about religion i think the best thing to do in a situation like this as much as we can all be confused and be disappointed and you know just feel how you want to feel you guys have seen my reaction to it obviously I, I do think a lot of it was a joke though i do think there is also a high possibility that it's also not a joke so all you can do for someone like this in this situation is kind of just pray for them and hope that god leads them in their right and the right kind of journey okay miss sophie sophia sis this was embarrassing but hey we move she's probably in her bed laughing toes curling and everything she's probably like you i got the big girl that i wanted the body of my dreams and i'm trending <laughs> what is a christian bbl maybe if you get a christian bbl there'll be no pain you might not even have to wear the flipping what do you call it not the corset what do you call it the flipping waist trainer you, god will probably just bless you that you, you will be healed just like that someone said a christian bbl means booty blessed by the lord does the church and the congregation pay for it do we just speak in tongues as she's getting her procedure like I don't sometimes i feel like that can be a little bit un never mind can i say that i'm gonna say it. it's my channel i'm gonna put my laptop down and say it like sometimes i feel like we go too crazy with it like sometimes you could have just, just keep it stern because now you can't even explain this because now if i ask you babes so what, what, what's the what's the real definition of a christian bbl you're probably just laughing at my face like girl it's just a joke but it's not a joke though because it's like people don't really play with religion people don't play some people feel like religion is their their way forward is their only hope so like when you be messing around with it and everything it's just like people get offended by it even when like musicians like sam smith be doing like the most devilish things people get so offended by these things and it's like yeah it makes for great art and everything they make the best music when they're literally being devilish no vibes you don't have to no no you know what i mean no but um yeah i just felt like it was so weird and i just had to speak on it like a christian bbl i a bbl in general it's like you know i have my thoughts on it i don't hate it like i am dave do whatever it is that makes you feel happy and if you truly feel happy whilst doing it then great but calling it a christian bbl doesn't mean that like did they put like did they sprinkle holy water on you before, uh, did they speak in tongues yeah but, but like, i just didn't expect this from her but hey i don't know her so why didn't i expect it from her <laughs> When you actually deep it, when you actually deep it, that's how it is, though, isn't it? Like, people are such attention seekers. I'm glitching. People are such attention seekers. It's like, babes, for what? You did all this for what? And when you go to church, everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, you got the Christian BBL? <laughs> like, be for real, babes. No, you just got BBL. Addressing the hate. Well, you're gonna get even more hate when you call it a Christian BBL. Like, are you not like what's not clicking, babes? I just hope that she's not one of those annoying people because now she's got her body done she's gonna be making other people feel bad for being naturalistas like i just can't stand it when people do that it's like no babes it's like Saucy santana and his uh, oblong body like he, do you guys remember that video um i guess like he was a part of like the skit thing obviously Saucy santana is gay um but he was on the skit thing where like he was going like like he, he was going on dates and stuff with guys and then i think the youtuber actually brought out a few girls of, obviously that's not his preference and um, instead of him to just like say that and just like keep it stepping this guy went on and he was like you brought out a girl who didn't even have her hair done, her body not done. And All right, let's just get this out here. Hey, Susanna Boogie. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, how you doing? I don't know why they keep bringing girls out here. And you find out you trying something? I'm not trying nothing. He trying it, he trying it, he trying it, and he... And he trying it. <laughs> hey! Bring some from back there. And then y'all even got no bed. She had no BBL, her makeup one done. Like, what are we doing? So, like, the BBL? Yeah, like, they ain't got no BBLs, no mink lashes, no lace wigs, no nothing. And it's like, shut up, because for Santana, your body don't even look good. Let's keep it real. Like, if we're going to speak, are we not going to speak facts? You don't even look all the way put together. I'm not saying this is what this, that's what this lady is doing, because at the end of the day, it probably isn't. You know, I'm sure she's just probably gotten the work done and she's feeling even more gassed and she's feeling fabulous, darling. And she wants to let the whole world know and she's probably trying on outfits that she didn't feel comfortable. I don't know. I, I don't know too much about her, okay? Um, But I can't stand it on the flip side of things. A source of Santana, somebody who like, bitch, you got your work done. Does it mean it looks good? No. But now you want to come and shame people who are natural. Not everybody wants to go and run and get procedures and not everybody is chasing that kind of like aesthetic. And are you going to be happy with your results in the next 20 years? If I was you, Saucy, I wouldn't. <laughs> 
anyways guys i'm gonna go now because i've been I, this video is just had me confused it's had my head spinning okay like i don't even know what what am i gonna title this video christian bbl and you guys are gonna be looking at me like i'm the one who <sighs> Anyways, guys, thoughts and opinions on Christian BBLs, let me know. Make sure you guys follow me over my Instagram. It's Keisha underscore. It's a fun time over on there when people are not demanding money and begging for Christmas gifts. Yeah, me. It's a fun time. If you guys have video suggestions, that's the best place to connect with me. I love to, like, go through my messages and, like, see what you guys are up to because some of you guys be spilling the tea. And there's one thing about me, bitch. I'm a nosy ass bitch. So I want to know what's going on. But then when people ask me about my life, I'm like, what, what? no, no, babes. That's not how it works. No. It's not a two-way stream. It's not. But um, yeah, definitely go and follow me over my Instagram. I've been posting some fire ass pictures, and there's no doubt that I'm not gonna post the picture in this look. Are you dumb? You're dumb. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, anything else left to say? I don't know. I think I think I think Twitter said it all for me. <sighs> Anyways, I'm I'm, pr I'm praying for the people of the world because sometimes I'm just like, Christ have mercy, <laughs> Christ have mercy. Anyways, maybe I should go and pick up a Bible. <sighs> this is reminding me to go and pick up a Bible. And stop chasing boys. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, guys. Anyways, 